Andrew, a big uh, aspect of, of your political activism and advocacy over recent years has been starting not only CPAC but the, um, the Liberty Fest conferences before then with a, a very libertarian, obviously, um, deliberately um, flavour to the conversation and the debate and the conversations and arguing for that. Tell me, what's your analysis of the uh, COVID restrictions that we've seen, um, the case made for them, the process to implement them, and the public uh, reactions to them? Yeah, okay. I, I, you mentioned the word libertarian. I, I sort of do consider myself a libertarian. I think, uh, you know, Ronald Reagan uh, used to say that uh, within the heart of every conservative beat it, you know, there was a libertarian. And so I, I sort of consider myself that. And the two creeds really with uh, libertarians are is that you don't hurt people and you don't take their stuff. And you think about what's happened over the journey of the last few months, uh, particularly with the riots, you know, we've had uh, uh, what I still consider the, a, a policeman you know, you know, acting viciously and uh, murderously on an individual. Uh, that, that obviously breaches everyone's sense of justice, I think. Uh, but then the rioters, uh, you know, uh, taking, you know, you know you know, just rampaging through uh, some of the cities in the US in particular, uh, thankfully very respectful of property in the main here in Australia. Uh, but mm. I think that, 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 that sort of breaches my sense of um, righteousness as well. And the thing about the COVID restrictions too, and, and I'm, a, I'm a real unlock, you know, we should be unlocking Australia. Uh, we should be allowing people to take control of their own, per, take personal responsibility for their own health. We all know what we need to do if we don't want to get the virus, right? We need to keep mm -hmm. our distance. We need to wash our hands. We need to do all those things, and that's within our control. Um, having having uh, government forcing us to make you know to 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 keep us in our houses, keep us away from our work. Uh, in some cases, um, destroying businesses, uh, destroying uh, the livelihoods of many people, uh, and it, and and the people that are making these decisions aren't in that group, right? They're all they're mm. all floating above all the rest of us. Um, I think it's been. Um, I think it's been a real tragedy, actually. Um, now, I can understand uh, politicians um, being a bit jumpy at the beginning, but uh, right now, uh, you know, right now, uh, we should be opening up. And um, we've got one person in ICU in the whole country. We're set up to take seven or 8,000. Uh, you know, the narrative changes all the time. Uh, and for me, I think the government forcing us uh, to all lock down and take this pain that's not shared amongst all of us uh, that breaches my sense of uh, of right, uh, and um, I think it's immoral, to be perfectly honest, David. Oh, it's not enough to do nothing. It's time for us to do something.